Hello, 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 hello. Praise the Lord. Thomas Math in the fourth here. Special thoughts for what God's about to do. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to me a few moments ago and said, shocking to me a little bit, because I was going to go a different way in, in my thoughts right now. But um, the Lord spoke to me about the power of partnership. Power of partnership, and I want to. I want you to understand that in this life, you need help. You need other people. You need um, the power of two, three, four, five, even more than that. You need um, help for your assignment. You need help for your personal life. You need help for getting things done. You need help for uh, promoting things, marketing things, doing business, doing commerce, doing sales, doing, you know, production, administration, helps, governments. You know, the Bible talks in... Uh, to us in 1 Corinthians 12, 28 about government's helps and administrations being offices of the church. In the church, you know, in the church. There's the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher for the work of the ministry. But then there's also for the work of the ministry in 1 Corinthians 12, 28. Uh, first apostle, secondarily prophet, thirdly teachers, and the working of miracles. And then... The gifts of governments, helps, and administration. Governments like hierarchy, you know, structural uh, way, if you want to build an organization. And um, administrations is powerful because it helps you get everything administrated. And then helps, which is servanthood, you know, anything that needs to be done. People that have a, people that have a servant's heart, they can be raised up to be uh, a champion in the realm of um, administration even trust because trustworthiness causes um, and faithfulness causes elevation and promotion but I feel this like almost with tears I can say this I hope they don't <laughs> flow right now <laughs> but uh, I feel the anointing so strong that's why I'm saying that it's the anointing that you know I'm not sad I'm not uh, unhappy in, in, in anything but I I feel I feel the power of passion and compassion for the work of God. You know, I feel zeal for his work. I feel zeal for his projects. My God, I feel the anointing. This is powerful. God is speaking this. And the Lord is causing new things to go into motion. You need help. I need help. We need help. Can't do it yourself. Even the animals sent two by two. He sent them to so they could procreate when he was going to uh, reboot and reset human uh, existence, you know, creation. And that's a nice way of saying it, isn't it? I want to be real positive here. I don't know. I don't want to be in any negative vein at all of anything. I want to be totally pro-creation, pro-vision, pro-purpose, pro-positivity. Positive, positive, positive in a negative, you know, infused world. We need to be the positive, uh, you know, energy energy sources of, of life for people. And the Lord is, is really tired of seeing people stuck and hurting and what. You need help. You need help. Hello, everybody that's coming on. Hello, Mary. God bless you, dear. Gad, Michael, Mercy, others, thank you for coming on. Uh, share this afterwards, too, please. I'm going to jump off the comments so I can flow in this here uh, for a few moments. And, and uh, I just want to give this exhortation, the power of partnership. 
partnership. If you want to be a partner with something great, be faithful in it. Be consistent in it. You want to sow your finances into the ministry, into our ministry here? Do it faithfully. You could do that on thomasmanton.com. And keep sowing seed. You could use your card there. And also you could do uh, Cash App and the other ones. They'll be, on the, they'll be on the screen of how you can sow into this ministry. But, um, and, and, and to pray, you know, to pray and to be faithful and to do things. Somebody said to me that they were thinking about how they can be of help. And I haven't called them yet because I've just been so wrapped up in so many projects. But I, I need to call them and talk to them. So, okay, now, what ideas do you have? What can we do? Because so much needs to be done. I have a whole team of people on another continent in the world than where I am right now. And they are uh, 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 working on my transcripts and my writings and my books and graphics and all that. Uploading messages and doing that. But there's a whole, there's an entire system that needs to be developed so that everyone in the world can partake of these teachings. The social media here is not enough. You know, the little social media feed here is, is uh, what's easy to reach for, for me to reach for and just switch it on and do it and to speak to you, uh, but I want to speak to more people, ultimately to millions of people. So it's going to take uh, teams of technical thing. And the Lord spoke to me again, the power of partnership, the power of partnership. Now, God is not uh, uh, saying that to me, changing my message. You know, you know, I teach a lot on success and finance and the will of God, the mission, the assignment, the calling. Uh, biblical wealth creation principles, success principles, strategies, and many prophetic things for different nations and prophetic messages for the body of Christ and things about deliverance and warfare and spiritual authority and power. You know me doing that. But so the Lord wouldn't change somewhere I was planning to talk to, to think about and talk about for a few moments here and change that at the last minute and say the power of partnership because it's on his mind. And it's on, it's putting it on my mind, for you, even for you. In what you're doing, God has help for you. In what I'm doing, God has help for me. And I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus that the people come forth, the right people. You know, some people are jealous. They can't handle your, your, your greatness and the blessings that God's given you. Some people are... Uh, um, uh, so many, so many things, you know, uh, unreliable, unblessable in many ways, you know, they're just struggling because they don't get the hang of abandoning themselves and, uh, doing something and being faithful to God. That's another, uh, topic altogether, really, but, but it has something to do with, uh, why you don't have everything you, you want to have. But God has to have people in any city, in any environment, in anywhere you are, anywhere you are, anywhere you find yourself at in this present moment in time. The Lord has people for you. He has resources for you. He has people and help for me. He has things that we need to be done. And they are going to get done in Jesus' name. I mean, can you imagine you start feeling this feeling and all of a sudden I, I dream about you know, late in the day, I'll think about, I, I'm just tired of small, you know, a, a, a thing being small in a certain arena. And I just want to, like, jump out. Wish I could go on a, on a motion picture studio set, set up the design and the thing and put it together and just make a movie or make, you know, make something phenomenal. I saw one uh, evangelist... Uh, called it something he was doing a movie and I watched it it was just his meeting I mean it was just it wasn't a movie uh, you know it was just a, a a crusade with the things that happened you know from the platform of the crusade with the people and I thought mm, I turned it off because I thought I was excited for him I thought movie that that's going to be multimedia things moving things happening all kinds of you know special production effects and <laughs> other people speaking and, you know, guests and things that happen. None of that was happening, so it wasn't a movie. You know, it's okay that they try to title it that. I guess they've taken a whack at it, but it's not a movie. 
But I, I see that kind of thing, that kind of production where we have the PowerPoint, we have the screens, we have the images, we have the messages coming on the screen, have the uh, point by point in the scriptures, which I put on all my videos. But when we film, a, we film an event and a, and a meeting, I always have my, my editors put the scriptures that I'm saying at the bottom of the screen so whoever's watching can read the scripture and learn the word as I'm teaching. Oh my God, I'm a stickler for that. We go out of our way to do that. We take a painstaking hours and, and, and cost and all that to, to put the scriptures on there. I just want the word of God on the screen and I want it now. I'd love to have it where it's, you know, there's a, a software we can get and a, a camera system we can get a couple thousand dollars maybe not much and uh, put it together where we have this uh, production thing in the studio I don't think that box or that camera thing would fit here in in the in the in the, in the Range Rover but uh, it would fit in the you know anywhere else you know that you have a little room in a room and set up, you can even set up a screen and put a backdrop. You can do so many things. And I'm into that because I, I, I want to see excellence in broadcasting. Partnership. It's going to take that. Oh, my God. The Lord is having me talk about this. I, I feel a little bit, ooh, ooh. <sighs> Get stirred. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know God was going to do this. So the Lord, the Lord wants uh, the, the power of partnership. Ecclesiastes 4, nine. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9, I believe it is. I'm not going to look at my notes in scripture here to, to look at it, but I believe that's the where it is. But the principle of the of the verse there, you find it it's in Ecclesiastes four somewhere. I think it's Ecclesiastes four nine. I think so. If if not you'll find it. But there's a there's a word that talks about the power of partnership in the realm of uh two together is better than one, you know, that's another it's also in another place. And the threefold cord is not easily broken. In other words, there's power and strength in numbers, you know, with other people, different people, and uh you 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 have power by having connection nobody is good by themselves nobody's supposed to be in like an island no one's supposed to be like a um, uh, by themselves struggling and feeling you know uh, frustration and pain you need a team of people you need the money to help hook all that up yeah and God has to give you that you need uh, people to help then God has to give you help you find faithful people he just has to I mean, that's just the demand of heaven. You know, some things don't change because we don't demand it. You know, Isaiah 45, 11 says, Concerning my, uh, uh, ha ha my work, work of my hands, you command me. One place where God actually says that. Now, don't get rude with God and start, you know, talking to him uh, in a rude way. Uh, that'll never be tolerated. I mean, God, God uh, uh, killed people that mocked him, you know. Remember the she bears that ate up Elisha's uh, when Elisha they were mocking Elisha, calling him bald headed, and thank God I don't have that problem, and um, and calling him um, bless all the bald heads in the world and the hairy heads. And so it's all good. We're all beautiful. Amen. Not mean that. So the Lord is, uh, uh, you know, serious about disrespect you know the ones that sold Joseph out he was a good man he was had the coat of many colors Joseph had the coat of many colors right and the brothers became jealous of him sold him out thought he was dead didn't care if he died just threw him away and did all that to him and then and then um, he the famine came and then he ended up being the prime minister, the manager of everything, and they had to come to him, not knowing they were coming to him. And he was the one that could have, like, had them killed, uh, destroyed, or, 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 or blessed, and he decided to forgive them and let them be, and let them eat. Imagine that. Those that even wanted to kill you. Those that really went to do it. They really... So God uh, and the she-bears... The two bears came out of the woods. God called for them to come out of the woods and uh, ate the 42 children. Ate them. Bear, two bears ate 42 children that were mocking his prophet. Korah was getting the people stirred up against Moses, the other leaders and all that, causing chaos in the camp. 
God opened the earth and swallowed Korah and all his friends, family, and whatever, and friends and associates in the dissension against Moses, swallowed them down into the earth. They went to hell straight ahead without, without sleeping. Think about that. Ananias and Sapphira lied to the Holy Ghost about the portion to be given. They dropped dead. They were mocking God. They were lying in his face. Don't tell me God doesn't have a reaction. We're nice compared to him. Dishonor and disrespect, you know. It's not okay. Disinterest. If someone shows disinterest, there's, there's a reason for that. There's something wrong with them. You don't have to uh, go quizzing them about it or trying to make it right. If someone's not interested in being in your life, then you need to just let them walk. Let them go and don't have anything more to do with them. I just had a scenario like that. Somebody, you know, blah, 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 and I try to reach out to them, and then I told them I did, and they act like they didn't even care. I'm like, okay, switch off. Bye-bye. Enjoy the life. I won't be in it anymore of, of yours, and you won't be in mine anymore. No problem. God has somebody else. Someone who who jump at the opportunity and feel good. I told a story some time ago, a preacher, uh, he uh, came to my house and uh, saw it and said, I'm going, oh, ah, oh, ah, and I thought, oh, no, this is going to kill this. I knew it because I'd seen it happen before. And I thought, boy, if you've seen the houses that I'm, I'm planning to go to uh, have next, uh, you, you, you'd faint. You wouldn't be able to get up. They'd have to, we need a stretcher to get you revived and some, some, some paramedics, you know. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. No, that was the end of that. And it sure was. I mean, we lost touch after that. That was it. I mean, someone can't help. And it's really sad because I thought, hey, let's connect and do something. But some people are damaged goods. They're damaged by what? Poverty mentality, upbringing, wrong upbringing, wrong things like that. And just, they can't, uh, you, you, you're like oil and water. You can't mix. But, but here's the thing. In the realm of partnership by the Spirit in the kingdom, God has people that can flow and you can grow together and do things together because you're like you're of the same order, the same mentality. You can't take a prosperity thinking person and then get a poverty thinking person and you're gonna fight that demon of poverty the rest of your life. To hell with that. Excuse me, I'm not cussing, I'm saying to hell with that. The devil in his poverty. I, we don't want it. It's a deception because the devil wasn't poor. He was the most exquisite creation of God in all of heaven. The most beautiful. Had musical instruments in him. So powerful. So glorious. So elegant. So opulent. So magnificent. That he was able to uh, persuade even one third of holy angels. Good angels to side with him against God. And God cursed them all. And he became the great dragon, Satan, and and the other ones uh, became ugly demons. If you've ever seen a vision of demons in the spirit, and uh, you know they're ugly creatures. They used to be beautiful angels, but the Lord deformed them when He cursed them and cast them out. You ever think about that? So hey, um, don't play with God. Don't play with good things. That's the other side of it. But you know what? Some things just can't mix. You don't want everybody. If someone has the ability to give you a million dollars, and that's going to take care of all your, your needs, then why do you need like a thousand people to be standing with you? You needed that one person or two people or three people or whoever's involved in that. God has a way. God has a way. And I heard the Lord speak to me some time ago, and I didn't come on here to say this to make any appeals, but... I didn't. But the Lord is reminding me again to say this, because I don't know who's watching or listening is going to get a hold of this uh, or hear this somehow. But he said to me, There's pe there are people that I am going to touch to do phenomenal things for my work. It involves like big things, large sums of money, property, Things like that, and the Lord's touching people to connect and to sow that. Sow it into his work, into his kingdom. And I'm right here 
I'm a world-class receiver. I'm right here. If you tell me you want to give like that, and God spoke to you, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to say, well, just bring it on because it's needed for the work. Let's go. And we, have, we have things to publish. We have media, things to fulfill. We have equipment we need. We need buildings. We need, we need staff. We need teams. We need things. And, and really, it's going to happen all over the world. It's not just happening in one, one or two continents. This is something. These are things that are going on around the world. And there, there are media uh, enterprises and me, it's like television networks and things to broadcast even through the internet around the world technical people they're waiting for me to just give them the switch on and the go ahead and um, they'll 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 be ready to to facilitate the word of the lord going out to the nations i feel very very stirred up about that happening and the lord said to me talk about the power of partnership partner is where people get together and they get things done. There's some things that need to be done that one person can't do themselves. They're not that interested in doing it, or they're not that good at it, or they just don't flow with... Uh, they're not a kickstarter and a self-starter with some things. I, I notice myself in some arenas of, of operation that when the person comes that's good for the thing, I get right into it and I just start to do it. But leave it to me alone, it's just another thing on the to-do list. And that's really sad because you don't always just uh, get up and move to do it and make it like, uh, you know, happen just like that. So that per the other party was needed in that to make the thing happen that needs to get done. Very important. Some things that you are not getting done because... Because... Uh, not in possession of the funds that you need or the, the help and the people that you need. And the Lord is going to work on fixing that. He, he's going to work on fixing that. I'm, I'm very, 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 very excited about that becoming a reality in your life. Very excited about that. And it's the day and the time now for that to happen. No longer you by yourself trying to figure it all out, but the help that you need and want to desire. The Lord says He's bringing them now to you. He's bringing them now into His work. He's bringing them now. This is that day and hour. I receive it. The, I receive it from you, Lord. This prophetic word. Thank you, Lord, on behalf of all of the people that need help, that are our friends and partners. I pray for them right now, and I pray for this dominion, your work that you entrusted to me and put into uh, upon my life. This anointing you put on me, that the help that the help that is needed wow. is coming forth. And the new season and the new hour and the new day of upgrades and everything is coming forth. No longer you by yourself. No longer you endlessly waiting for certain things to transpire. But the Lord says now is the day and the hour for power and victory. Things to blossom and bloom and flower. You know what I mean? To go into that next level, that higher level of grace in operation, that the will of God will be accomplished. And all that's needed for that is now going to come forth, says the Lord. We receive it right now from you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Manton IV. Thank you for being my partner. As God speaks to you, connect. And I'm also declaring over you that everything that you need and want for your life coming forth right now because the clock is ticking there's no more time to delay or waste so many things that need to be done oh wow I, i've been meditating on that you know also so many things little things little things little details you know what i mean you know you know this little thing and that little thing and that little thing and that little thing every day they're there and the thought of them not being done is just unbearable you know it becomes unbearable after a while you're just like i have to 
I think I have to hire somebody just to, for the to-do list. And that, that, that'll be the... Man, this thing won't stay here. That is like maybe the description. <laughs> Their job description. The to-do list person. Sometimes I've said that. What's the job? I'm like, the to-do list. Helping us make it, think it, walk it through, and then, and then carry it out. Every little thing that's needed to be bought, to be done, to be put forward, to be implemented... All these little things, all these things that need to be done. Most people don't, most people in life suffer all kinds of diseases and ailments and stress and lack of things and frustration because they never get all these little things done. Little things add up to become the big thing. The big thing is even a a compilation or a, a sum of all of the big things. I mean all the little things. The big thing is that it's a, a summation of all the little things that need to be done and as the little things are being done you wonder why certain people you wonder why certain people uh, uh, you see them they've, they've accomplished a lot why because they were at it every hour of every day every hour of every day doing something and they had the help that they need they had the money they had the people they had the friends they had the help they had the staff they had the, that's the key like so, so like okay. Here you are, and you have a realm of uh, of this level of something right now, and all of a sudden you want it to be like huge by next week. Not possible. How's it going to happen? Because all these little things need needed to have been being done. But if you're diligent every hour of every day, this is a prophetic message because I wasn't even planning to talk about this. My God, the power of partnership, the power of production, the power of purpose. It needs to be accomplished. In your life. You only have this one life. Even if someone's married, they get to the other world, to heaven. The Bible says there's no marrying there. I wonder if you get to date other people. Or, you know, that's a joke. Or or you get to hang out with other people. And say, the wife, yeah, I knew you then. And here you are. And doesn't mean you're going to smother me. It doesn't mean that you're going to live forever. I think heaven heaven is bigger than that. And I'm not, I'm just making it kind of a funny joke out of that. But. I don't mean it in a bad way, you know. But heaven is like that that glory zone in the spirit. So you're going to do right now what needs to be done right now in this life. Even the sex life, let me say that. You can only do it here because the Bible says there it's not happening. So you better get going. You better figure out how to do that now. You... Some people are supposed to be married that are single, for real, for real. For real. Partnership, right? That's a good partnership. But has to be according to the will of God. Oh my. Has to be according to the plan of God. It'd be the most horrible thing to be yoked with a boring person who's not about your assignment. Oh my. Can't flow together. Somebody said opposites attract, right? But I heard somebody, a very wise friend of mine, a real apostle, dear friend, he said, he said, uh, he said something very powerful. He said, when people are young, opposites attract. But when they get on in a life of a bit more, they want the same, they want similarity, they want something tied according to the purpose. They're not going to take an opposite person you know we've seen people that in the ministry have had horrible relationships and breakups and divorces and all that and one to walk out on the other I just I've seen that and it devastates people the wrong people even the wrong people in your staff even the wrong people in your friendship life can't have can't have too costly Oh, I wish I could just like undo it all and help everybody that I like. I don't like everybody. I have to love everybody, but I certainly don't like everybody. God doesn't either. I wonder if he, 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 don't tell me he likes the person who's killing people in Nigeria right now, the ones that are doing it. He doesn't like them at all. In fact, they have every right to be executed and knocked off the scene. And now what's up with the president and the governor there in Nigeria and then that community where it's happening? 
Are they for that? Well, they're of the same religion, you know what I mean? So I think they're, seems like the, they don't want to do anything about that. They're just letting it go on, which is really a tragedy. I think the people of the country should rise up and revolt. And, uh, <laughs> They should rise up and revolt. It just oust those. Anyway. And look at Venezuela. P total destruction. I, I posted a picture on my Facebook. You can see it. Facebook page. Uh, the Bolivars. The money of Venezuela. It's like now like worth less than toilet paper. Total trash. They said if you get a truckload of the money... A truckload, wheelbarrows full, fill up a truck, bring it somewhere. You can't even buy a cup of coffee. That's what, the, that's what the caption was saying in the photograph. So people started taking their cash and throwing it, throwing, throwing it in the street, littering the street with the money everywhere. It's worthless. No one will even pick it up. What a tragedy. Can you imagine? Such a prosperous country Venezuela was, even 20 years ago, 15 years ago, even less. Now it's a total trash heap. And the people are dying there. Such horrible thing going on. That, that guy that's in power needs to be ousted. And I prophesy right now that he will be. Nigeria just re-elected the president. And they've elected another governor in the area where all the killings are going on. God help them. God help them. I don't want to blame the Christians because the Christians are radical. But maybe they're not enough for them. The other religion thing is too much. Sad. Sad. Very sad. The state of our world today. So that just is an example to say what we need to do. We need to get on with the program. Get busy about the father's business and uh, not be losing any more time waiting for anything. We need help. You need help, I need help, we all need help. Help, 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 Lord. Help, Lord, but then send the people help. And the money help, and the everything help. For the work to be done. He's the provider, he's good. Don't ever blame him for problem. it's people. Things, even you yourself that haven't commanded it enough. I was saying that before. This is a solution now that we need to command things. Certain things, I started to say, and I... Coming back to it, I didn't finish the point. Certain things that haven't been done yet is because you haven't risen up violently enough in your faith and your spirit to command them to be done. And they're not done yet. So there's some, there are a couple things I need and want to see uh, that I want, and I just I'm command. I said, Lord, I'm going to command this every day. I'm commanding you the work of your hands to get this done according to Isaiah 45:11. If I didn't have a, a scripture verse to say, I don't know, I'd have a problem, wouldn't I? Because I wouldn't know how to uh, have faith and be right in having that thing. Lord, Lord, we thank you right now that you're causing things to happen in the right now. Things that we need, things that we want. We're demanding and commanding it to happen that we don't have to wait anymore to see certain things happen. However it's going to get done, it's going to get done. Even hard things, even things that are not easy, things that the enemy brought against you that have not been, you know, uh, uh, still lingering around and you're seeing the devastation and effects of things that happen. The Lord knows and and God wants you to rise up and take authority of that. And whatever like need that you have, want that you have, desire that you have, thing that you're waiting for, thing that you want to see happen, you need to start commanding it. Now I'm not talking about the manipulation of other people and things, but I'm talking about the good result of things that God wants to do. You need more money in your life, you need to command it and let God show you the way to find it and it to find you. You need more uh, uh, help in your life and people, you need something to be fixed, some issue, you have some physical ailment or you have some other ailment, something that uh, 
was adverse against you, you need to take charge of that thing and smash it and get rid of it in Jesus' name. Partnership. Well, you with the Holy Ghost is another partner. He's the greatest partner. And you with uh, yourself together in faith, commanding things to be, it's going to happen. I'll talk more about this, but, uh, it, you know, the, the partnership issue of life is extremely important. By yourself, you can't get done with all the things you want to get done. So get ready, my friend, because God is speaking prophetically here that he's about to uh, really help with all the things that are needed and wanted. And I feel that so deeply and so strongly. And I feel that so powerfully, prophetically. Father, thank you that we are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. And every good thing that we need and want, you're bringing it to us right now. In Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Schmantin IV. Thank you for praying with me on this. And I'm praying for, over your life that God is going to give everything that you need and want for his own purpose and glory. That she can have a productive and fulfilling life to make a big difference in the world because the people that he wants you to bless are waiting. And those that he wants to bless you are waiting. And everything's in the balance. All the things in the world are subject to change and movement because of our faith and our declaration. So start declaring in Jesus' name what it is you need and want. And believe God for the partnership and the help. The power of partnership, part one. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Love you.